Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of my babies, the boys of SB19, um, and recently their performance at the Asia Artist Awards. Um, I saw, I've been seeing a couple clips floating around Twitter the last week or so of like people in the audience specifically my other babies the stray kids um like in the audience during this performance and like they were just grooving and having a good time and i'm like my babies the stray kids and my babies sp19 in the same room and and the stray kids out here jamming to sp19 please tell me this this is the crossover my heart needs please yes i would love love absolutely love to be some sort of collaboration i'd I don't know that that's anywhere in anyone's minds, but I'm just speaking that into the universe because just the fact that they were in the same building and stray kids were out here jamming to what SB19 was serving up, it made my heart so happy to see. So speaking it into the universe, maybe we can speak that into existence, get SB19's name out there in the K-pop world and just you know get them even bigger than they already are. Manifest, 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 manifest. But anyway, we're gonna dive into this, and then I also believe they won an award, so I think I have the video with their speech lined up after this. So we're gonna dive into this and just see how they did. Oh, we got we got a whole medley. Okay. I'm gonna come through with these harnesses. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if there is a song for them to perform at this, it would be this, because this song is blown up everywhere. Number of times I've seen the Gento Dance Challenge. I don't know why I haven't gotten around to actually learning this dance yet after all this damn time. Y'all better give them this performance! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hair looks good on Justin. Yeah. Oh, Justin looking good. Hey. 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 Come on, baby. 
Y'all know how I feel about Ken and his bass. Come on, Harmony. Oh, where we going now? Come on, Crimson. Hey. Okay, then, so see y'all. Come on. Ah, thrust, thrust. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, ah, thrust, ah, ah, ah. Go right now, I don't know who y'all are, but go ahead and get it. Come on, baby. Yes. Listen to that thunderous applause. Come on, babies. Got them Next, SB9, award. please give your acceptance speech. Okay, I don't know what award they won. Did it say in the title? Hot Trend Award. Okay. <laughs> Y'all better come out looking dashing. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. We're SB19. <laughs> yes, you are, babies. Yeah. Um, I love the pattern on the fabric foremost, choices they made. I would like to thank God for giving us a strand to get through everything and of course giving us 18 you guys are the best we love you all so much we love you back um, 
Also, uh, we would like to thank um, our managers and our staff who is always behind us um, doing all the dirty work, helping us to get through all the, everything that we've been um, experiencing. And uh, we just want to say that we're really proud of you and we love you all so much. Thank you so much. Yes, um, this, this is our first time to be part of Asian Artist Awards. But this is such a big milestone for not just for SB19, but for mm -hmm. every Filipinos out there. Uh, we can represent say that the Philippines, babies. We can say that we made it and we'll keep on um, achieving our dreams. And thank you so much, especially to 18 and all of the people who have been supporting us from the very beginning. 18, this one's for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you too. Uh, thank you again. We're SP19. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I know, I know there are so many of you guys just like me who are so incredibly proud of these boys. Oh my goodness. Because not only are they just doing the Philippines proud, they're doing us fans, us a so proud. Because the last couple weeks, if you've been keeping up, you know it has been just questions and speculation from the dispute or whatnot with their former record company about the name of the band, whether or not they would be able to use that to, you know, them canceling tours over in Asia over the last month, month and a half, and all kinds of things where it's like, we didn't really know what the state of the band was going to be, where things were going to go. We knew that regardless of what happened, us, A-10, were going to support them regardless because we love them, but we didn't know what was going to happen. So then I think like last week or the week before, it was finally, you know, finalized. The, the former record company is allowing them to use the name, which, okay, great, fantastic, we love. Um, and then to come back, like, for the first time as SB19 since all of that stuff went down, to come back to this kind of a grand stage and performance, it is massive. It is monumental. Now, I don't know how big or influential this particular award show is because I've not heard of it before reacting to this video. Um, but the fact that it's including so many, not just K-pop or Filipino artists, well, not like is containing all of these just all throughout Asia. It sounds like a massive deal. It sounds like such a big deal. So the fact that they got to be there in itself is so huge. But I think that I read that this was like the opening act to the entire ceremony so the fact that they opened the ceremony and gave such an impressive showing to so many people who may not be familiar with them because i know um like if we're talking internationally through the states and you know around the world i feel like the k-pop realm is a lot more pervasive internationally um i'm familiar with the p-pop realm because of my reactions because of being a reactor and whatnot and i'm thankful for that every day because there are so many incredible artists that i probably never would have come across had it not been for me being a reactor and you guys giving me all these fantastic recommendations um but even before i got into the reacting world like i knew of the existence of k-pop i didn't listen to it but i knew of its existence i knew that it had a big fandom and whatnot so i feel like it's just the Korean pop world just has such a bigger, a more widespread throughout the world. So to have them being in the same room with so many major heavy hitting K-pop acts and to be able to say, hey, this is what we do. This this is why we are popular. We're we're not just a flash in the pan. We're not just a fad. This is what we do. And to just have such an incredible showing, it just it makes me so proud. Like I'm not even from the Philippines, and I feel proud for the Philippines because of the th things that these boys keep doing. They the successes they keep having and they keep striving um, towards. It's just it it makes me happy. Just as a fan, it makes me happy. So I can only imagine how native Filipino people feel seeing this because I know. From all of the reactions I've done throughout the years, anytime I react to Filipino artists and they, you know, the Filipino people come flocking to my comment section and, you know, talking about how they just, they just show such pride. Um, whenever, that's one thing I can say, whenever I've reacted to Filipino artists on this channel, um, the Filipino people always have such pride in their 
they're singers. So I can only imagine the level of pride that they have because of something like this. Um, and what a fantastic showing. Now, there's a part of me that would love, would have loved if they threw a ballad in there because I know you guys are like, Topher, no, this is not the performance. They do not need a ballad in that set. But I'm like, listen to me. Let me hear, hear me out just a little bit because this was fabulous. This was fantastic. But whilst we're out here showcasing everything that we can do, why not give the people just a little taste of some of our, you know, when we're not dancing and doing all this kind of stuff, well, why don't we give them a little taste of some of the the the, the, the four or five part harmony, the ballads and all this, you know, delicious musical magic that we can make in addition to all these fire bops. Plus, I'm just a ballad singer. I love a good ballad. Sue me. So, I mean, if they want to bust out some Hong Kong Sahuli or some Liham at like the top of this and then go into this fire, I think that would have been a cool little mix too. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. This was still fantastic because there were still a, quite a few moments throughout here where they were able to showcase like some real vocal skills versus it being um because there was a lot of it that was um very rap and talk singing heavy because that's just kind of the style of the song it's a lot more um of a bop a vibe we're dancing we're grooving kind of deal um so there was a lot of that but there were moments throughout where they made sure like okay Make sure my mic's on because I'm about to belt my face off. We're about to do this two-part, three-part little harmony thing here. So make sure we're, mm -hmm. we're not just going to sit here and rap the whole time. We're still going to show them that, yes, we can sing. Um, I just love, would have loved if they, we had a little bad at action so we could show them a little bit more of the singing side. But like I said, I think this was a fantastic um, just representation of who they are for people who might have been in that room who do not know who they are, who may not be familiar with the p-pop world um who may not have seen them as peers or may not have even known of their existence i feel like this was a great just representation of a some of their more major hits over the last year or two years um and b just of the level of performance that they can put on because i've said a number of times ever since i saw the concert back in july um that one of the things that amazed me so much about seeing them live and in person was the fact that they didn't have a huge, because they were, you know, funding it themselves and it was a much smaller production, they didn't have dozens of dancers. They didn't have all the smoke and the lights and this, that, the other. They had a very small production, but they were still able to give me such an energetic and captivating performance without all of that, that I can only imagine what it would be like to have all of that. So to see that kind of come to fruition, them giving me this tour of all of these songs they've done and have just the production behind them on this grand stage, it is just, it's beautiful. It is beautiful to see. Um, I'm not familiar with the band that joined them for the choreography at the end. Actually, before I even hopped on here to record this, I was on Instagram and I saw them, I believe, with SB19 doing the Gento challenge. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cute. I don't know who they are, but that's cute. So I'm assuming they met them through this sort of, um, through this award show and whatnot. So it's nice to see that sort of interaction with a K-pop band, even if I'm not familiar with the particular band. Um, hopefully it will be the start of some p-pop k-pop crossover collaborations i would love we've already seen my boys collaborate with jake which is fantastic we loved um their rendition of golden hour so, but i would love to see them like i said at the top of this i'd love to see them collaborate with the stray kids um or shiny or um exo or any of my you know favorite k-pop boy bands that i've reacted to on this channel a number of times i would love that so again manifesting putting that out in the universe but yeah, they did fantastic. Absolutely loved. So proud of them. Um, and hopefully this is just the start of some more good things. We're ending 2023 strongly for them. And 2024 will hopefully be nothing but better. So fingers crossed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. Anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya.
Together there's nothing 